Welcome back. I hope that you're all fine. Today I have come here along with a new video tutorial on integration. Today I will discuss on more problems relating with uh, integration by pairs. Here the problem number 15. In problem number 15, we have to find the integral of e to the power 2x sin x. Dear audience, we consider this integral b i that means i equals integration e to the power 2x sine x dx here there are two functions one of them is e to the power 2x another is the sine x the integration of e to the power 2x and the integration of sine of x both are known to us so we may consider any of them as a first function but for this problem, I consider here e to the power x as a first function and sine x as a second function. Then applying the integration by pairs we get first function into integration of second function sine x minus integration derivative of the uh, first function into integration of the second function sine x dx. Dear audience, we know that the integral of sine of x is the cos x, so I put it here. And integration of e to the power 2x is, sorry, the derivative of e to the power 2x is e to the power 2x into 2. And the integral of sine of x, we can write cos of x. Here again, we'll find the integration by pairs here, which is that integration e to the power 2x cos x dx. Applying, repeating this process, that means repeating the integration by pairs, we'll find that minus e to the power 2x cos x plus 2 e to the power 2x sin x minus 2 into integration of 2 e to the power 2x sin x dx. You will find that uh, the integral e to the power 2x sin x dx is i here. So putting this i here we get the i equals e to the power 2x. Uh, here e to the power 2x is common between these two terms. So taking the e to the power 2x as a common, we can write the remaining pairs. The remaining pairs is the minus cos x and 2 sin x. Now after the intermissions, this minus 4y becomes the plus 4y and adding it with this i, we get 5i. Then e to the power x minus cos x plus 2 sin x. Then we can write i equals 1 by 5 e to the power 2x into minus cos x plus 2 sin x plus c where c is the integral constant that means ultimately it becomes the integral of e to the power 2x sin x is 1 by 5 e to the power 2x times of 2 sin x minus cos x plus c now uh, we can solve the another problem which is the problem number 16 here we will find that the we have to define oh sorry we have to find out the integral of the tan inverse x so very careful observation you will find that there are only one functions but exactly that not that you will find the another function which is one that means x to the power zero x to the power zero means one so we can write tan inverse x into 1 dx but the integration of tan inverse x is not known to us that is why we consider that function that means tan inverse x is the first function then applying the integration by pairs we get first function into integration of second function minus integration derivative of the first function into integration of the second function then putting the standard integral we get here the x tan inverse x and here uh, the derivative of tan inverse x is the x, uh, sorry 1 divided by 1 plus x square but where I uh, get this x 
exactly this x is the integral of the uh, 1 dx. In next line, we can write here um, uh, 1 x squared into 2x. This x um, reshuffled as a 2x, but um, there is no 2, so to make it balance, we put here half here. But why? Why have I do this? Have I done this activity? Because uh, if I write this function as the uh, as the as the product of two functions, that means um, if we divide these two, uh, if we divide this function as the um, um, if one part is the uh, differential of another part, then we can make a formula that means ln of the that another functions here the integral of here we will find that the 2x dx is the differential of 1 plus x squared uh, so uh, it is like that function that uh, particular integral that means integral f prime of x dx divided by f of x uh, and that is the um, um, that means integral of that function is the ln of the lower function. Say lower function is 1 plus x squared, so you put here 1 plus x squared. I'm going to solve the another problem, which is that the sine inverse x. Similarly, here we um, consider 1 as the uh, another functions, then since that integration of sine inverse x is not known to us, so we consider it as a first function and one is a second function. So putting the, uh, applying the integration by pairs, we get this, and after calculation, we get x sine inverse x, integration x divided by square root of one minus x squared dx. But if we put here the differential of the lower functions, that means Mm, uh, differential of the function inside the square root here then we can apply the formula which is that which is given here that the integration f prime of x dx divided by square root of f of x is equal to 2 root 2 root over f of x plus c to make this uh, standard integral uh, we put here minus 2x instead of x so for making balance it I uh, put here again minus half this minus half and minus becomes plus half. So we can write x sine inverse x plus half and this is the standard integral like that. So we can write 2 root over the lower functions. That means the lower function is, is the square root of 1 minus x squared plus c where c is the integral constant. Dear audience, it's the another problem. In this problem, we'll find that we have to determine the integral of x sine inverse x square. Dear audience, uh, I write first of all this function and we consider x square as z and 2x dx equals dz. Now, replacing those in this uh, given integrations, that means in this function we get sine inverse z dz by 2, that means half sine inverse z dz. Now here at one functions uh, ultimately um, we can consider one as the second function. So applying the integration by pairs we get this line and after calculation we get this. But here inside the square root there is one minus j square. If we can put the differential of the function inside the square root then we can uh, apply this formula that means integration f prime of x all divided by square root of f of x equals 2 root over f of x plus c to make it to ensure that we put here minus 2j instead of j so for making the for balancing it we put here the minus half again here and this minus half and minus makes it plus half so applying this we after applying this formula we get j sine inverse j plus half 2 square root of 1 minus j square plus c again substituting j by x square we get the half x square sine inverse x square plus square root of 1 minus x to the power 4 plus c dear audience 
I hope that you could understand to this today's lesson. And again, I will come along with a new video tutorial. Till then, I'll, till then, goodbye.